offensive rebound. Boy, you got to pressure everything here. See what the Grizzlies can do. They're up by one. Ingles will inbound across the court from us. Jazz going left to right on the radio dial. Ingles has Mitchell to the deep left wing. Conley's across the floor, deep right wing. Gobert, right elbow, left block, Bogdanovich. Clark, Bain, Williams, Jackson, and Morant. Grizzlies do not have a foul to give. Bogdanovich breaks across the floor. Nowhere to go. Ingles looking, looking, looking. Gets it in Mitchell. Mitchell with three, two. Mitchell at Bain. Fade away on the way. Nope. No good. That's That's it's it. over. That's the Grizzlies it. with a massive win on the road in Salt Lake City. Tremendous defense by Desmond Bain. And the Grizzlies get a big win in Salt Lake City tonight. 119-118. Grizzlies win it over the Jazz. Fans here in Utah are very upset. I don't blame them. They were frustrated. They had the rebound, Michael, but the inadvertent whistle sent the ball to midcourt, and the referees tossed the jump ball up. And the Grizzlies still had to make play after play after play down the stretch to make that happen. Jaron had to win the tap. Ja had to make a play to find Jaron for the three. Jaron had to make the three, and then they had to come up with one more defensive stand. All three of these guys that were involved in that play, Jaron Jackson Jr., Desmond Bain and John ja Morant. What games by those three guys, man? I believe we're going to get to talk to John ja Morant tonight as he gets the headset. We are uh, straight up in front of you. If you look up in the stands, look to your left. To your left up here, buddy. A tremendous effort. Take us through that final play where Jaron wins the tap and what your mindset was because I know you were looking to get downhill and possibly tie it, but you realized the defenders were there and just a tremendous piece of court vision. Uh, it was pretty much, you know, who wanted the ball more. Uh, you know, it was 50-50, jump ball. Uh, somebody had to go get it. Jaron won the tip. Coach told me, if I get it, just go straight downhill, attack downhill. Uh, we was in the bonus, so I was just attacking the rack. And, uh, you know, most of the time with this team, Gobert is, you know, a great rim presence, so I knew he was coming, and uh, we spaced trip opposite side, and. You know, we have all the confidence in the world for him to, you know, make that shot. And I made the pass. Uh, he delivered for us. Ja, how much of a big-time moment is this for you guys coming out of Minnesota, knowing that you had to respond to that, showing the resilience that you guys have shown all year to come back and get a big win like this with an effort like this? Uh, we just had to be real with ourselves. Uh, you know, we had a meeting that probably lasted about an hour and a half of just, you know, players and coaches talking on, you know, what we got to do, what we got to be better, uh, better at. And, you know, that's how we respond. You know, we played a, you know, a tough Utah team, a team, you know, we faced a lot last year. Uh, we just had to lock in on the game plan. You know, we battled throughout, was able to come out with a, you know, a tough win on the road. You know, uh, it always amazes me the way you guys, it's a different guy at a different point in the game. You had some great looks tonight that just sometimes the ball doesn't go in. You stay with it. Dez gets going earned. Jaron Jer stays with it. The resiliency can be a real strength for you guys, can it? A hundred percent. And you know, no matter, you know, make or miss. Grizz you know, win! <laughs> you hear me? <laughs> on the shots, you know, we take. Uh, you know, we, we know we put in the work. So we have all, all the confidence in the world, you know, take those shots, you know, make or miss. Uh, you know, if we get the opportunity again, you know, we'll take them. So uh, very, you know, not usual game for me, you know, in the <laughs> efficiency category. But, uh, you know, I'm going to continue to shoot the ball. And I know, you know, my teammates uh, will do as well. And, you know, I, I got to shout out Dez, man. You know, these last two games, you know, he stepped up big for us, you know, in this first quarter, you know, uh, getting us going. And, you know, we just had to back him up. Hey, in the end, it's a win, right, partner? That's what matters the most. Terrific yeah. effort tonight. <laughs> Great way to go downhill. Enjoy the time with your teammates tonight. We'll see you on the plane tomorrow. Thanks, Yes, Roger. sir, man. John Call Moran, trip. right there. <laughs> Call trip. We got it, man. Call trip, man. Uh, uh, yeah. Trip for three, man. Oh, I, I might have lost <laughs> my hear? voice. Hey, between the two of you, one day you're going to make me lose my voice, which is not good for a radio <laughs> As long as I don't swear, right? And you might make me do that yeah, one we night. All so good, man. Be careful, we brother. Be good. Have dub. fun. Yes, sir. Unbelievable night. John ja Morant right there with 30 points, seven assists. Jaron Jackson Jr., the game winning three, and the two of them hug it out at center court. I don't want to get yelled at by Taylor. So why don't we take a quick break? We'll come back with the post game thoughts right after this. 119, 118. Grizzlies knock off the Jazz tonight on the Memphis Grizzlies Radio Network. <laughs> 